Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finishing up a three-part video series in which I am sharing my steampunk themed creations for my Happy Planner. I mentioned in a previous video that the hubby and I enjoy dressing up for Halloween. Halloween is when we started dating, so it's just kind of become our tradition over the years. I have also mentioned before that this happy planner for me is more of a memory keeper. I know that Heidi Swap and a few others make a planner for that purpose specifically, but I personally enjoy customizing and making this planner into my own personal keepsake. Today I am basically making a scrapbook page or layout to insert at the end of the month of October. I wanted to be able to keep a photo and our event tickets in my planner, and I thought a special page at the end of the month would be fun. I didn't really have much of a plan when I started, but I am happy with the way it comes together. The supplies that I'm using today are very basic. I start with a piece of cardstock for my base. The steampunk themed paper that I use is a super cute paper pack that I bought on Etsy for 99 cents. Can't beat that. I will leave a link to that in the description box down below if you're interested in checking it out. At first I picked out one hot air balloon paper I thought I was going to use and then later on I decided on another in case that confuses you. I also used some red line tape to make a pocket with my photo here and immediately had my first problem to work around. I stuck it down crooked and this is the story of my life, people. <laughs> because the tape is so strong and tacky, there is no pulling it up and straightening it, so the rest of the video is me using my paper and tapes to hide that imperfection. I think it worked out okay in the end. The paper clip I use is super big and chunky, I know. For those of you who missed it, I have a process video for this clip as well as a few others and my steampunk planner spread. I will definitely leave a link for those down below as well. I have mentioned it before, I don't mind this book chunky. It isn't a planner that I take with me, it sits on my desk and looks pretty. Since this is going to end up being more like a journal or scrapbook, I actually want it on the chunkier side. I have big plans for it and I can't wait to keep working on it. Anyway, all that to say, the clip doesn't bother me, but I can see how it would for some. You can always make a thinner, more reserved clip to fit your style and needs.
So that is it for this project. I hope that you enjoyed it and it gave you a couple ideas for your own planner. I love the fact that we can add pages and pockets to our happy planners. It definitely makes them very customizable to fit us just how we like. I am definitely thinking of adding a page like this over the next few months and I think it's going to be a lot of fun with the holidays coming up, so I'm looking forward to that. In the photos here at the end, I'm going to share with you how I finished up and added some journaling to the back of this page. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!